All right, so here's some pretty big news from the world of medicine. Russia says its first cancer vaccine, called Enteromix, is ready for use after years of research and testing. Let me break this down. The Russian Federal Medical Biological Agency just finished three years of regulated preclinical trials. That means they tested for safety and tested for effectiveness over and over. And the results? Super promising. They reported Enteromix can reduce the size of tumors and slow down cancer progression by as much as 60 to 80 percent. It depends on cancer and patient details, but those numbers are huge. The first patients to get this vaccine will be people with colorectal cancer, but researchers are already working on similar vaccines for other tough-to-treat cancers like glioblastoma ocular melanoma. Now you might be wondering, how does a cancer vaccine even work? Here's the quick version. Enteromix uses mRNA technology, which is basically like giving your body instructions to recognize and attack cancer cells. It's designed to be personalized, meaning it can be customized for each individual patient. And here's the coolest part. AI actually helps design and speed up the creation of these vaccines, making the whole process way faster than it used to be. Early animal trials were really impressive too. At one Russian lab, the vaccine stopped tumor growth in 85% of mice with melanoma, and even led to full remission in 60%. These results are in line with what big global players like Moderna BioNTech have been seeing with their own mRNA cancer vaccines. Right now, the vaccine is waiting for final approval from Russia's Ministry of Health. But talks are already underway to adapt the vaccine for use in other countries, like Brazil, India, Iran, so it can work with local genetic profiles. That matches a big push from the World Health Organization to make these kinds of breakthroughs available everywhere. Will this be the game changer everyone hopes for? Time will tell. But honestly, it feels like we're one step closer to rewriting the story on cancer treatment.